12 News is your local election headquarters zeroing in on campaign cash controversy right now that involves Rhode Island gubernatorial candidate Nellie Gorbea. Yeah, that's right. We're joined live at four by 12 News politics editor Ted Nisi, who broke this story on WPRI.com. Ted, this involves something most viewers have probably never heard of, <laughs> a so-called red box. Yeah, Kayla, we're getting into the weeds, a little the dark arts of campaigning here. Last week, Target 12 discovered a page on Nellie Gorbea's campaign website that featured, as you said, a red box. Specifically, there was a message in this red box saying Gorbea needed Rhode Island voters to see TV ads on broadcast, cable, and streaming that talks up her position on abortion rights. It was a clear message to outside groups, which she hopes will come in and spend money in Rhode Island on her behalf. But coordinating with outside groups is illegal. Gorbea, like other candidates who are now using this tactic around the country, argue it's become standard campaign practice. Her campaign manager telling us in a statement, quote, the deck is stacked in favor of the wealthy and well-connected. Nellie is running against a self-funder with her own super PAC and an incumbent governor who has hundreds of thousands of dollars of outside money. Dana Walton, campaign manager for Gorbea, saying that there. Now, Gorbea's campaign arguing they have to use this tactic just to keep up as you can imagine, getting some strong pushback from ethics watchdogs. Yeah, Brian, I spoke with a lawyer at the Campaign Legal Center in Washington, which has been highly critical of campaigns that try to use these red boxes. He says, quote, this is a practice that undermines democracy because a candidate is so blatantly abusing the law instead of following the law with respect to contribution limits and coordinating with outside groups. We've also seen criticize, criticism of Gorbea from her Democratic rival, Helena Folks, who says this is, quote, exactly the kind of shady politics that Rhode Islanders hate, but Gorbea allies counter that folks is a millionaire who can write checks to her own campaign and that she has an outside super PAC herself that's waiting in the wings to help her win the governor's office. All right, Ted, looking ahead now tonight, we are kicking off our series of primetime debates heading into the Rhode Island primary. Yeah, Kayla, it's like that time of year, exciting. Providence mayoral candidates Gonzalo Cuervo, Brett Smiley, and Nerva LaFortune will be here in our studios tomorrow at 7 p.m. for their first live televised debate in the race for City Hall, airing on Fox Providence and WPRI.com. And mark your calendars because we'll have live primary debates for the next three Tuesday nights. That my oral debate tomorrow, the second congressional district primary primary on August 30th, and finally the candidates for Rhode Island governor on September 6th. So uh, should be exciting with the primary now just about three weeks away. You've cleared out all your Tuesdays for Every this month. I'm ready. We know exactly what you're doing. It. Yep, exactly. All right, must-see TV, of course. That'll be tomorrow night. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi, thanks for being here. Good to be here.